Hi folks, Chris Martin here. As part of the project to document the World Diplomacy Championships held at Weasel Newt in 2016 in Chicago, I was able to get together with six of the seven players for a sort of after-action report. We walked through the game and they gave feedback and commentary on how it went down and, and why things happened the way they did. We got 90 plus minutes of footage and it's going to take me a while to break all that down. So I'm just going to put it up as I get to it. Here's the first section where we're talking about the pace of the game and how it was a little different from what you might expect in a normal game. So like this video if you like it, subscribe if you like what I'm doing, and if you want to support what I'm doing and have more diplomacy videos made, you can support me on Patreon right here. Thank you. This is, you know, it's an interesting point about the game in Warsaw because it, this game felt to me like it developed very slowly. I don't know if other people felt that way, but compared to other, even tournament games I've been in, it felt like it was a very conservative, open, cautious, cautious by most players. Um, and I was extremely guilty of this. I know I played very cautiously at the beginning of the game. It just felt like over the first few years it took a long time for the game really to move in there. I would agree. I, I think that um, one of the... Uh, yeah, Dave? Uh, no, we're good for a moment. I'll, but, I'll, but mute if you're going to yeah, talk gonna, to Yeah, I'm going to mute, mute yourself, please. Yeah? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, anyway, what I was going to say was, I, I noticed super early, like after the spring news and even in the spring investigations, that a lot of people were in a wait and see type of mode. And my thought process and the negotiation strategy I took early on, I think it was probably evident in the videos, was hey, everybody else is going to feel really slow. Let's find someone to work with very quickly, which I thought was God. So I, I pushed really hard to try to work with Andrew to go aggressive early on because I figured if we could kill Turkey fast, the West would be jumping so slowly, like we could really consolidate and kind of just move. So, um, but that's, I don't think that's nat naturally your play style is to start aggressively. Or maybe it just wasn't on that board. And, and playing this morning with you, 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 you played very slow, methodical, but extremely effective approach, too. So I don't know if that's, if you do that uh, all the time, or... Well, I just think I, I'm reasonably effective. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> you're, you're extremely effective with it. I just did not, have, did not have enough history with you to understand that that's the type of game you like to play. So I actually like... Th there's a discussion I'm having unrelated to diplomacy, but it applies in diplomacy, and that is you want to be the first person to make the right move. Yep. Now, if you the first person to make the wrong move, <laughs> that's no good. It's no good. <laughs> and if you're the last person to make the right move, well, sorry, yeah. too late. And I think my priority early on in games is first don't make the wrong Hold move, on. and then as soon as a right move presents, take it, yeah. do it, and don't wait around just for the sake of waiting. When you act. Right. How about uh, Doug? When when you started out as German, uh, do you remember what you were trying to accomplish? Just get either England or France on board? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I I agree with the perspective that Adam talked about, and, which was nobody really wanted to commit to a plan of action. Everyone wanted to wait and see, and you know, you think about a typical game of diplomacy. And a top board is not a typical game of performance. Right? It is a very special game. You know, whoever tops the board wins the whole turn. So it's just a very different feel to how they start and how they play out. And nobody really wanted to jump and be the early mover. Except and, Peter. Except Peter. Um, which, by the way, I predicted in every diplomatic conversation. <laughs> I know, I've heard from everyone else that. Everybody thinks she wants to go fast. I'm like, yeah, because I can tell no one else wants to do anything. I, I think, <laughs> and, and yet, wasn't it Chris who reacts? Telegraphing. Awfully quiet. Well, I mean, I'm playing easily. I'm looking for that good stuff. In this game, I was looking for either Reese or Trias. Trias might have been looking for one. Like, for it, for the right way. For the record, both being typical Austrian guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, early time. 
Okay, folks, that's our first video. I'll be putting up some links here so that you can click through to check out the entire series if you haven't yet. Until next time, I'm Chris Martin, and I'll stab you soon.